Hey, what's up, chitheads? Boy, am I happy to see you. Today, we're gonna to be doing some hill testing on the Wired Freedom. If you watch my review, I mentioned a few times that I think this bike is geared too steep. In order to combat that, I've already changed out the rear cassette from 11 by 28 stock cassette, sorry, free will, to 11 by 34, and that made quite a big difference by itself. But today, I'm gonna to be doing a test on the same hill between the 56 tooth front sprocket and a 52 and a 46 which i've got here let's try and do some high speed runs with each to see if uh, ghost pedaling becomes an issue and those of you eagle-eyed viewers will also notice that i have removed the front and rear rack i got rid of the headlight and you know i like these things but honestly i don't ride at night and i never use the rack and guys if you're interested in any of the parts i'm using in today's video as always i'll put the link in the description below go ahead and get out there on the trail and see how these new sprockets work all right guys, we are here at the proving ground. We're gonna be taking the bike from here and riding up this path and all the way up to the top of this hill. I would like to be able to go up this hill and pedal assist three. I've had to use pedal assist five with the stock setup. We're gonna go ahead and get started now. Let's see how this goes. I don't know what grade this hill is because uh, you know I'm not a dork, but this is a fairly steep hill. I'm gonna try and go up it and pedal assist three. I'm in the lowest gear right now. Let's see how it does. Hello. You can see it's already struggling and this goes back to my, this thing is geared too high. So I'm gonna pop it in four. And it's doing a little better in four, but honestly, the, the steepest this thing is geared, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in five. And, oh yeah, five has no problem at all. Starting all the way off in the lowest gear. I'm in pedal assist three and we're just gonna start making our way up the hill. It's funny reading comments because on that review, somebody said that you need to downshift to the lowest gear and you're doing it wrong. And it's like, uh, I did downshift to the lowest gear, buddy. Okay, we're in three now. Um, I definitely feel resistance, but this is leaps and bounds better than the stock setup. It's a workout though. It's not breezing up. And honestly, that's kind of all I want. Whew, okay, I'm feeling a little burn right now. I'm not gonna lie. Well, there you have it, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Shade Tree Mechanics. Yeah, you know, it feels a little weird doing some uh, repairs on the side of the trail, but you know, hey, I'm pretty much a local celebrity, so you know, I gotta stay out of the public view. People are gonna, hey, let me get an autograph. Check that out though. For just the chain ring I got off of Amazon, it looks like a factory finish, doesn't it? Round number two, we are back at the bottom of the California incline. Uh, you know, I actually don't know what percent this grade is because I'm not a dork, but let's get pedaling. I'm pedal assist three. We're in the lowest gear with the 52 tooth chain ring up front. Uh, initial impressions, it doesn't feel much different at all, to be honest. Maybe a tad easier. Hello, it's UL certified. Yeah, so maybe a tad easier, but according to my math, I think the 50 tooth, tooth going down four teeth is less than a 10% change. I'll put that on the screen for you. But yeah, it's a little easier, guys, noticeably. Okay, not bad. Slightly better. See, we were just down there and we came all the way up here. Okay, I'm going 28, 30, 31, 32, 34. Yeah. I'd, uh, I don't feel like going to the 52 2 chain ring is going to make any difference at all with ghost pedaling. Oh, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, huh? It's okay guys, it's UL certified. What do you guys think of the look of the Freedom without the racks on it? I like it, but it does give you that initial see someone without their glasses and you're like, something's different, but you can't really point it out. So that's how I feel about it right now. 
But I have a feeling, you know, within two days of seeing it like this, I wouldn't even think twice about it, but I like it. Shade Tree Mechanics is back in business with new extended hours, guys. Bust out the handy dandy multi-tool here. Do you feel like you're watching a repeat at this point? Another good, cool thing about these hub drives is um, if you break your chain, assuming you have enough battery, you can still propel yourself home it's because you could just use the throttle on the rear tires. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think the cadence sensor would still work even if there's no chain connected because it would see that you're pedaling and it would engage the rear hub. The mid drive, you break your chain, you're screwed. I'm gonna turn on the bike here. Yeah, there you have it. So the cadence sensor will still work even with the chain disconnected, guys. So definitely make sure your bike is turned off when you're doing this. You don't want it to take off on you. Okay, guys, we are going back up to Chittafornia grade. And it's, a, uh, I mean, it's pedal assist three on the lowest sprocket, lowest gear. And I can already tell you right now, I feel, uh, Definite difference. There's no resistance yet. Oh Yeah, quite a big difference and I can already tell you right now My pedal is loose Which is throwing this off, but we'll address that when we get to the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is significantly easier Significant easier climbing experience Oh, yeah I don't know what the math is exactly, but a 46 tooth compared to 56 tooth is well over 10%, probably around 15% difference. Coupled with the 18% already in the back, it tackled this hill no problem in pedal assist three. Now let's see what's going on with this pedal. What do you say? Well, it's not the pedal, it's the crank arm. And this is surprisingly not the first time this has happened. And I swear to you guys, I did not plan this, but uh, this, multi-tool actually has the correct size allen key to tighten this back up but believe it or not i'm even more in luck because i brought this kit which came with the uh, sonata herald and i just threw it in my bag today of all time so good timing i don't know what it is i've seen another guy's video doing the same thing having to tighten his down so for whatever reason it's this one on your uh the left side, if you're riding the bike, likes to come loose. A significant amount of ugga duggas on these guys. Crank arms tighten. Now let's see if ghost pedaling appears to be an issue with this 42 tooth, a 46 tooth. I still feel resistance now, but my cadence is pretty quick. 34, 35. That's hardly a conclusive test, but uh, I still felt resistance pedaling up to 35, but I was pushing. Hey, excuse me, miss. What do you think of the Wired Freedom? Hey, I have a Rottweiler too. Hey, buddy. The real time, the real climbing test is up here in a bit. And uh, it's really steep and it's prolonged steep. So we're gonna see how this combination does. But first, we're gonna hit a little uh, little uh, shortcut here, a little single track section, it's pretty fun. I haven't done it on the Freedom yet. Woo. Woo. Oh yeah. You have to be careful with these trails because uh, after rains and such, the conditions on the trail can change so much, you never know what to expect. So you go into it thinking you, uh, you know what's going on and you can eat shit pretty bad. Hey cows. Are you guys scared, afraid of cows? I have to admit, it took me a while to get used to it. 15 pedal assist three. And I do feel there's not much resistance in the, uh, not much resistance. Oh, and you know why there's not much resistance guys? The chain's not on the sprocket. Weird, there's a lot more resistance now that the chain's back on. Hey, how are you doing? 
Hello? Anybody in there? Hey guys, I'm a YouTuber. We have arrived at the ultimate hill test, guys. We are going all the way up to the top of that. Now the locals refer to this section as the wall because it's literally like you're climbing up a wall. You can probably see the switchbacks going up here. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy doing this. I've done it on my Levo quite a few times and it's a grind, guys, even with an electric bike. So let's see if the wired freedom is up for the task. You know, hills never really come across in videos. You'll see something in a, on a YouTube video and you're like, oh, that's nothing. And then you go check it out in person, you're like, oh my gosh, that is insane. So I'm in pedal assist three, I'm in the lowest gear and already, yeah, it's struggling right here. This is steep stuff. So I never said I was gonna do it all in three, but we just wanna see if we can do it at all. So I'm in five and it's having no problem in five go back down you climb in the whole time but there's sections where it's steeper than others this is stuff you have if you have a regular bike you come out and do it once and you never do it again and you tell people about it for generations because it was just so terrible unless you're one of those people that are training for an Ironman or something okay we're back back on another steep section here pedal assist four I'm giving it some good power right now with my own legs and we're doing it. I'm not going to go to five. We're going to power through this little section here. I absolutely would not do this with the stock gearing. Pedal assist five is having no problem. This is too steep for three, at least for my fitness level. Even at five, it's struggling right here. Come on. Nice view, huh? That's another thing. Now with this gearing on a zero, you can actually pedal this bike. Still feels heavy, but uh, it's doable. This is rutted up big time. I think this is the last really steep section. So I'm using the throttle on and off here to get myself going. I'm giving it the juice, guys. Woo. We are almost there. Like just one random cow gets scared and the rest don't care. Coming through. <laughs> we did it. I'm impressed. I absolutely would not, under any circumstances, do this with the stock gearing. Oh. Motor's at 285. Ooh, the little motor temperature thing is flashing. Shell the motor doesn't feel very hot. We were just way down there. We did it, guys. That was a workout. Look at that. What do you guys think of the new look? It's grown on me already. I don't think I'll be putting that rack back on. You go up all that way, and it's time to come down. Hello, Spike GL certified. Hello, we made it guys. This is the Rose Hill Cemetery. Sadly, they had to put this fence up here because people were dying to get in. It's UL certified. Guys, I passed my UL certification, guys. I'm UL certified now. Guys, I'm UL certified. Let's see how fast we get going here. Thirty. Thirty-eight. Thirty-seven. Whew. Thirty-six. Speed limit? Nah, no thanks. Let's see if I can pass this car. What do you guys think? Ah, uh, sucker. Thirty-eight. I'm on the throttle now. 38, sticking around 38 with the throttle. Yep, 
It's UL certified. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm a YouTuber. Hey. So I'm pedaling at 27 miles an hour and I can still feel. It's not ghost pedaling yet, but I would guess with the 46 tooth front chain ring, you're gonna start ghost pedaling probably about 32. Yeah, I'm going, I'm pedaling pretty quick at this point. Let's see, Let's see if we can hit 40. 40, hit 40, world record. Woo. Oh, 40 again, 41. That's the end of the fast downhill sections. All right, guys, in conclusion, uh, what did we learn today? The 46 tooth chain ring in combination with the 11 by 34 free will, in my opinion, make this bike into a very capable climbing machine. I did a, I would absolutely not have done that trail if this bike was in the stock configuration. Unfortunately, my Strava crashed, which it seems to do every time I use it these days. So I can't tell you the exact elevation, but man, that was quite a bit of climbing. I would absolutely recommend doing the 46 tooth front chain ring if you live in terrain like this. But if you live in more flat terrain, the 56 tooth is gonna be fine, I think. But you know what? Either way, I believe getting that 11 by 34 free will is an absolute must. There's no downside to it. You get the same top end, but you get 18% lower bottom ends. I'll put the links to all the parts that you would need in the description of this video. But guys, thanks for watching. And remember to stay unrestricted, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.